So we are ready for the Battle Royale. Group 2 is back. How are we feeling? Good. All right. Hermes, are you going to be starting us off this time round as well? Yes, please. Okay, so I'll have you come and stand to my left, please. And for Group 3, who's going to be kicking things off? All right. So I'm going to have each one of you pick from my palm, and you'll be finding out if you will be arguing for or against the motion whether or not couples should share finances. So I think we'll do it ladies first, right? It's only fair. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so I'll let you go back to your podiums, and you'll tell me on what side of the coin you are, and then we'll kick things off. And like we've done in the previous rounds, we'll have a first speaker, second speaker, and a third speaker. Pick a pardon. Remember, it's all about wit, teamwork, and how persuasive you can be. Hermes, are you for or against the motion? For the motion. So you are for the motion. You say couples should, should share, share finances. finances. That means group three, Droid, you are saying that couples should not share finances. Affirmative. Affirmative. I love how we're kicking things off already. I think we allowed Hermes to pick first. So in the interest of gender balance, yeah? Draw it. Group three, you can kick us off with this one. Should couples share finances? Big Mama, panel of judges, a great timekeeper, co-debaters, lovely viewers, good day once again. This is Richmond Denin, Droid, um, and my team, we are speaking against the motion that couples should share the finances. Now, what is a couple? When you say a couple, what, is, what does the term mean? We believe that this was developed around the idea that two individuals from different backgrounds come in together because they feel that they have some connection emotionally and some attraction physically. And they believe that they can face the waves of life together and make it work for them. Now, if you're trying to tell me that as couples, your finances should be shared, then you're equally trying to let me understand the fact that we started off our lives together. Now, I can give you an example where our past um, co-debater gave that Mark Brown, as a TV presenter and a famous actress, started off her career before even finding someone along the way. Probably she has an amount in her account. And you're letting me understand the fact that because someone has come in halfway through, they should combine their finances and make sure that everything is actually um, shared equally or they use their finances together. We are not trying to debunk the fact that finances should not totally be shared but we believe that what you bring on the table, I bring the same. And then it shouldn't be the sense that um, we should... Uh, I mean, if, if you are bringing something on the table, and I also bring something on the table, it's, it's on the flat plane. But if you tell me I should share with you, it means that you are not actually giving me the option to share. But then you're actually asking me to share against my will. The word is should share. So we believe that it shouldn't be a should. It should be an optional something. Like the example I gave initially, that you might meet the person halfway through and it shouldn't be a short situation. They should be willing enough to give you what they have. And that brings me to my first point, that greed and gold digging. Now, if we promote the idea of that couples should share finances, it means that one part of the table would also take it upon themselves that, oh, if my partner has enough amount of money in his account and I, I feel like mine is not okay and he's always, always giving me, um, I would relax, I'll keep mine, and I'll make sure that yours finishes first. And that is why we believe that it is not right that couples would share their finances. It is not right at all that couples would share their finances because we believe it would breed, greed, and then gold digging. And this has actually started in our country whereby we have young people going into relationships because they believe the individual is going to come on board with some amount of money, and then they are going to share the finances. So we believe it's not a healthy thing for us. Secondly, I say that this will cause a layback and uncommitment. Now, in a relationship... Then in a relationship where we are all sharing money, you know that, okay, if it is 100 Ghana cities, I'm going to buy this product. Oh, my partner, I, I get 50 Ghana. Your, your other partner too will tell you, oh, I have 50. You'll be laid back. You'd, you'd lay back because you know, in, in as much as you don't have, your partner would be there to support you. But we believe that if it was individualized 
Everyone would fight for what they have, and then at the end of the day, they can stand for what they have. The next point I have is disrespect. Now, we say that couples should not share their finances. In a marriage where we have the males and females, not all the time, but I'm trying to say that most of the time, if the male and the female are all presenting money on the same level, let's say if you are taking care of their bills, I'm taking care of the other stuff, and it's on the same level, sometimes they, 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 they most of the times hit their heads together because they feel like, oh, because I'm also giving and you are also giving, we are on the same plane. And that is why we believe it is not the best thing to ask couples to share their finances. We believe it is not the right thing to do, that couples to share their finances. It would breed disrespect, it would breed uncommitment and lay back because they know that the other partner will come in and then commit to themselves and it would breed greed and then go to digging. Thank you. Okay. So uh, my co-debater right here did make a statement whereby I would like to touch on. He said that it is okay to share finances but then it should not be something whereby you are forced to. It should be something whereby you are willing. The question here is, you are for against. The moment you thought that it is okay to even share the finances, then it makes it seem that everything that you said is wrong. Now, as a woman myself, even before I would even go into a relationship, I want to be stable. I want to go into a relationship whereby my husband would not have all the burden. He knows for a fact that if he's to take care of the children's school fees, his wife can take care of the home. I can be able to buy the foodstuffs. My, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to go to my husband all the time and ask him, oh, babe, um, we don't have this at home. Can I get money from you? No, it puts more pressure on the man. Why were women created? It was to support a man. If, if not that, then God would not have created Eve for Adam if he knew that Eve is going to just be a liability on Adam. But then he created Eve because he knew that Eve was going to be Adam's support system. And that is why we need to share finances. Now, in case I'm traveling, okay, or in case we are traveling together, I can tell my husband, babe, you can pay for the, the, the business class or even the plane ticket. I will take the hotel bills. This alone will be able to... Um, how should I say it? Um, it? It will be able to make marriage more enjoyable to the extent that we know that, oh, I can do this. We can go on more traveling expenses whereby we know that the man is not going to be the one to handle all the expenses by himself. So then, as a couple being in the house, you would be able to have more things to enjoy on. It builds trust in the sense that, one, if let her know that my partner is here to support me in certain things, if there's anything that is, that is bothering me, or if I know that, oh, I have, I have a certain money, you will be able to talk to your partner about it. Why in the long run? Because this person, this man or this woman, is someone that you are building a lifelong partnership with. And from what you've seen, you've seen that they can actually help you in your finances. If you're not going to be sharing your finances, then that means that if you get money, or if you get the 50 cities, you're going to keep that money to yourself and then that would not be healthy that is going to bring a lot of conflict last it strengthens the core values of a family if my children or if the children that we are to have sees that mom is able to help dad in certain things they would be able to understand that it is not just a man's world it is a woman's world too and then we need to teach our children that these core values that everything is supposed to be a man doing it a woman can also do it that way is to make things balanced also <laughs> um in case of taking loan, if you had to have um, a shared um, account together, it built up your statement. Um, if I'm to have my own account, and then maybe, they, before you even take a loan, they check your statement. How, how have you been saving into the bank account? Is your statement good enough? Before they would give you a loan. If I'm to go into your loan, and then I don't see that your statement is good, I would not give you my money, because what is guaranteed that you would be able to pay me back? But then, if we are coupled, and then we are sharing finances, that means that it can be that we can have a joint account. And in this process, it builds up our statement for us to even get future loans if we need it. In case of traveling and relocating outside the country, sharing of finances would help. 
Why? Because when relocating to another country, you know that you need enough research, enough funds to do that. If the man alone is going to do that, this is whereby it happens that the man needs to go, go struggle, and then try and find ways and means to come and now bring his wife and kids. The long run is going to bring cheating. He will be cheating. That you don't you can't guarantee that your wife will be here and not be doing the same thing. But if you are to do the shared finances, that means that we come together and say that babe, we are working together here as a couple to make this money. And then once we get this funds, we can go to the next stage by relocating together as a family. This is what I also said that it bring um it builds the strength. Okay. Um uh, my husband and also just for me as a woman, as I said. I feel like now majority of women, not even I feel like, I think that now majority of women want to be stable enough before they get into a relationship. Why? Because it brings respect. He said it brings disrespect. I will counter that. It actually brings respect to you, the woman. If you are able to not be a liability on the man, but then he sees that, okay, you are actually his rape. What you were meant to do in his life, you are actually doing that. He would give you more respect. Not just that you would earn respect from his family, from your family, from society, you would also be a role model to your children and to your children's children because that is something whereby they can boast about. Also, a set as an example to your children someday and this in the long run will teach the next generation that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Thank you. Fantastic. Emmys, thank you for that. Um, I should also point out that for this round, we'll only have a second supporting speaker. So I hope our second speakers are ready. Our third speakers, um, you will just be there to give team morale. So we'll do second supporting speaker and then we'll wrap up on this round. So we're back to group three. Let's hear from you. Um, so hello, I'm Imano Ankara in Konkomi Dro. Um, before I say anything, you said something about him. He said it is okay to share finances. And he came back and said something. But the question didn't rule it out completely. It said it sh showed, showed. So it is a short situation. It is a short situation. And I heard you say something about um, the question didn't say the woman is not working. Affair. It, sh it said, should they share what? Finances. So we never mentioned or stated the fact that the woman is just at home and she's not doing anything. You understand? So the question didn't say the woman isn't working. The woman can be working. She has the money. Maybe she even has money more than the man. You won't know. So this is the case. Some women work, um, some women work and they get um, bigger salaries than um, their husbands. You understand? But as a man, a man wants to be a man in a relationship. I don't want to come back home and um, because maybe um, we, we sh let's say I'm going out to work, I drop 100 CDs and you two leave 100 CDs or something. I'm coming. I, I, um, I use 100 CDs and you leave 100 CDs or something. You will feel like, oh, um, because, um, what's the name? Um, I drop 100 CDs before going out to work and you two drop, you're on the same plane with me. A lot of ladies turn out to feel that way and make sure that, oh, they turn out to lose some disrespect when issues start happening in the family. Um, my second point is, if money is what will make you um, trust me, then you are not truly with me. You said something about that, that um, having a joint account um, can build trust. But if that's what is going to make you trust me, then why did we get married in the first place? Why did we get married in the first place? Because it's not money that's supposed to make you feel like you can trust me. I, can, I want to be a man, and I want you to let me be a man and take care of the family. I'm not saying do not what support but this says should we have what should we share finance equally women a lot of women sorry to um, a lot of women um like oh i want to go and buy wigs i want to go and buy this i want to go and buy that i want to be the man and feel like oh i want to give you that money to go and do it i don't want you always i want to give you gifts i want you to feel like my woman you understand so it's not always the case that we should share joint accounts Um, and in the Bible, and in the Bible, God created Adam and Eve. They sinned, and um, God cares the man to sweat and take care of the family. So it is it is a wrong point in a way because it's my duty to what to take care of the family. It is my duty to provide for you and my kids. I'm not telling you not to work. You are meant to support me. 
You are supposed you are supposed to so you are supposed to support me. <laughs> you are supposed to support me emotionally and sometimes you can help me out. But it doesn't mean it doesn't mean and it's a show, yeah. And it doesn't mean you should like sh yeah, sh share finances with me. I drop thousand CDs, you drop thousand CDs. Like, come on, I won't feel like a man, I want to feel like. So um, I would like to end this. So it's it's to the end to end it all. The motion that couples should share finances is not advisable, and each one of, of themselves go for us all. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much, Drill. Hi, my name is Martin, and we are for the motion. Now, you were going on and on and on and on and on about the Bible, 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 Bible. I want to ask you, the same Bible you just quoted now, the Bible says the man will leave his parents and join his wife and they will become one. So if you can trust or share with your partner, why are we together? You know, the two shall become one. Also, what's the end goal of a relationship for all three of you on the other side? What's the end goal of a relationship? For marriage. And one of the significant biblical sayings is the two shall become one. Right. Now, with that, we all know what that means. They share things together. They do things together. It's a big union where we do one big street, we go together. There's something called transparency, you know. And with transparency comes peace of mind. How are you going to feel? If you're not sure, one minute he's broke, one minute that, we don't have that, or we, I didn't, I didn't, this, this, you're not going to have no peace of mind. Or vice versa, for the woman as well, right? But if you guys share finances, there's a clear picture. You know where this goes, debit, credit, everything goes. There shouldn't be any issue or any cause for you to stress, you know, thinking about, are we going to be able to afford this? This You don't have that trouble. The security? You know, we all don't know when we're going to be incapacitated or worse, die. There's a family. We've seen so many people on the streets hawking. They don't want to hawk, but they have to eat. Measures were not put in place for them, so they have to come out and hawk. But if you have a joint account and you you guys have like a joint financial situation mm. right I just find a joint financial situation you would know you would even be able to affect your partner or based on how much he should be putting into whatever that chess or whatever financial pool you both are building right um, you can be a role model to your children they can always see mommy come. daddy are providing. I am still talking, sir. Family dynamics are built and inculcated into the children from day one. They grow up seeing sharing. They grow up seeing things done together. It becomes a norm for them. They can see that life is a journey where you, you go on as a single person, but if you have a partner, it makes it easier and more pleasant as you tra travel through it. I think I would end here. Can I say something? Do we have Can I say something? In 30 seconds. You want to counter? Yeah. And then that means I can also give the other team 30 seconds, and then we end the final round sure. because we have a little bit of time. Let's hear you. Uh, we share the 30 seconds. Go on, go for it. So you said something about um, what if the, the man is broke? Maybe the woman thinking about the man being broke. You, if you heard me right, I said the man, um, what's the name? The woman is supposed to help, not to, what, to be there or be on the same plane. So if, if, if I'm broke, my wife can come up at some point and help me out. Or it, it shouldn't be like, oh, it's by force. We have to share finances. That's why she's supposed to what? Help me emotionally to get even back on my feet. All right, you talked about the fact that um, when one person passes on, it becomes a difficult thing. Joint account okay. to help. Wheels are there. 
the time the time is spent. I think Drill okay. used that 30 seconds efficiently. It means you only have 30 seconds. You can count out. Let's hear you. Okay, your wife is not supposed to help you share if you do not think in the first place that it is not okay to share finances. Now, if you if you were okay, if it was okay for you to share finances at first, then that is the case whereby if you're broke or if you go down a bit, she can be able to support you. But then in the case whereby you do not think it is okay, you would not you don't have you don't have the right to her money when in the first place you thought that oh it is okay for everybody to keep their money but because you are now broke now you think it is okay for her to share her finances with you no that is wrong so i'll end it that way all right Emis, thank you so much for that round of applause for group three and two gentlemen foster i'll start off with you this was the final final battle what did you make of groups two and three's efforts Honestly, I didn't feel the, the heat. It wasn't um, as the previous one. I was expecting more, but um, they've done well. <laughs> okay. I, think, I think they personalized, uh, personalized, mm, they personalized it more, and so it was a bit challenging for them because they've not been in that situation before. So probably if they were allowed to read, they could have gotten more points. Then it comes back to preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, on the whole, I think, I think they've done well. They've done well, yeah. All right, Martin, let's hear you. Yeah, I, I made an earlier um, statement that debating doesn't necessarily mean you are right or wrong. It simply is that you need to make a certain point and persuade us to believe that what you are saying you believe in it, and then we believe what you're saying or telling us. Both of you made very good arguments. Sometimes, and, and it's, it's normal with debate, sometimes it's difficult to simply defend certain things. But with preparation, like Foster mentioned, you can even sell sand to someone who lives by the beach, right? Both teams have done very well. I don't know how long you had to think through and put your thoughts together, but I think that uh, if it was few moments ago that you picked and then had to put your thoughts again, put, put out an argument. I think both of you have done very well. Commendations to, to both sides. Yeah, the, the, the because it's like um, a marriage, you are told certain things, right? And the whole, it's like it's in that lane for you. So you just had to live or re-dramatize the whole thing be convincing enough. But then it was just how, uh, how to you know, get us convinced. That was the only, only thing. But I mean, mm. and then they also tried their best because I, I saw that he was, he was fumbling a bit because he was probably praying to get there for the motion that, and then he <laughs> got again. So it, it was sort of like Apple swerve. Yeah. So he tried his best to you know, weave some new web for us, you know, which, which was great. He was trying to think on his feet, which I think was great. But yeah, so congratulations to you both. All right, awesome, awesome. I agree with our gentlemen. I think group, uh, groups three and two did uh, very well. I do like the teamwork that I saw in group three between Droid and Drill. You were able to collaborate quite well, and that came through, even though the arguments, I don't think you were forceful enough. And MAs, a uh, round of applause to you. You were very passionate about your position, and you made some very, very solid points, and that's what debating is all about. But I have to say that this was a very, very tight one. For me, indeed, even though you guys were arguing on a position that maybe you don't agree with, I think you were rather persuasive. But we'll go on a very quick break.